Yo, what's up guys, it's Grant bringing you another video, and it is now the next day. I was up to like 3 a.m. trying to like make this stupid pump work, and I finally figured it out. Basically, it doesn't really matter, like the combination of where all these things plug into. The only thing that matters is that this is getting um, full power all the time to power the pump. Um, but the way it was, um, was basically the pump was only getting as much power as it thought it needed, like based on temperatures or whatever, which weren't even accurate. I don't know how, but the pump was running at like 1,600 RPM or something like that. Um, but it needs to be at like 2,300 to actually make the liquid move. So the pump was just completely useless. That's why I was hitting like 95 degree temperatures. Like it was working slightly, but like liquid wasn't completely running through it. Um, so yeah, I got, I had to go into BIOS, uh, like the settings of the computer. And um, I don't know, I tried AIO pump header at first. Then I just put this into a normal fan header. I switched it from PWM to, uh, what's it called? just DC so it just gets straight power instead of like power uh, with with I think there's like pulses of power something like that I can't really explain it to you because it's really complicated but basically this just has straight up power now and this uh, pump in here is running at 100% so um, as you can see I was rearranging these but I'll open this real quick so I have my CPU temps here um, Right now it's idling. It's like under 30. Before it was like 40 when it was idling. Alright, so with this I can go ahead and go to bench. Oh shoot. Go to bench and then uh, hit stress CPU. And that will automatically uh, set the CPU usage to 100%. And obviously as you can tell this, the fans like started to pick up now. You can feel it, the pump is actually working now. And the temperatures are still pretty high. I'm going to reapply thermal paste because I took this, I thought this was a problem, so I took that off like five or six times. So I'm gonna like get some of that isopropyl stuff, wipe off everything, reapply my, my own thermal paste. Um, that one, this cooler came with thermal paste, but I don't know if that's any good anyway. So I'm just gonna apply my own. And then these temperatures should be like around 70 maybe a little bit lower ideally when I'm playing games um, so that's gonna be a lot better uh, so yeah I did manage to fix it uh, I couldn't last night but I had help from my friend Michael who came over and just basically was like this is your problem he wanted to buy us and then he put it in through the AI pump or whatever but it wouldn't stay at, at DC for that for some reason so I just put it into the channel 2 uh, header and then um, I like did the automatic configuration thing and then from there I set it to manually uh, always be at 100 through DC power um, so yeah that ended up working uh, so yeah as you can see still mid 70s 100% utilization finally fixed it uh, so yeah here's another update uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one see you